Hey and welcome back to another circuit. Everything we'll be doing today is in a standing up position, so you don't need a mat. The only thing that you might need for a bit of an extra challenge is a couple of light dumbbells. Okay, so if you don't have any and you would like some, grab them now, two, three kilograms or thereabouts. If you're uh, quite strong, you've got good upper body strength and good balance and so forth, grab something that uh, is a little bit heavier and also challenges you. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna bring our feet around shoulder width apart. Let's straighten our backs, nice and tall. We're gonna bear, take our arms out to the side and bring our hands in so they rest just underneath our chin like so. And then we're twisting around to each side. Okay, we don't wanna to twist too far around. It's a very gentle, gentle warm up. And given that our feet are planted, we are twisting through our spine, but we don't want to twist too much. We just want to loosen up those muscles that we're going to use today. And we'll come back to the start and we'll do a few shoulder rolls. So let's just go forward to begin with. So let the rest of your arms just hang. Okay, we don't want to labor our arms up like so. We're just letting them hang and in each revolution that we go, we're going to take that circle a little bit bigger. You should feel the muscles in our upper back opening up. And when we take our shoulders to the back, we'll also feel our chest opening up as well. Okay, let's take those shoulder circles backwards. And we're now going to bring our arms up to our side again and bending from our elbows and our elbows only, we're going to do some salutes. Whilst we're doing that, let's get our lower body moving as well and we'll just do some marching on the spot. So once again, this is all still part of the warm up, so we don't need to be doing big steps at this stage just to get the body moving, get the muscles working, and the blood pumping. And try to get that synchronized as well. So each time we're bringing our arms up, we're also bringing our knee up to our chest. Okay, let's plant our feet again, and we're gonna do another rotational movement now. So we're gonna bend and twist, and we're gonna punch out to the side. So this time too, if you watch my feet, each time I turn around and twist, you'll see that rear foot there, it is pivoting up. Okay, as if I'm twisting this far around and I have those feet planted, it does place a fair amount of stress in our lower body, our hips, our back, and so forth. So this, this one, we are letting that foot come up and pivot up as to not place too much stress on our lower body. So let's take those punches a little bit higher if you can, if you don't have any shoulder issues. If you do, you can just keep the punches at shoulder height. Okay, let's take them down a little bit lower now. Once again, if you can, if you can't, just keep them where they were before. Okay, next exercise, or next part of the warm-up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some rope climbs, okay? So, if you haven't done these before, what we do is we're gonna pretend there's a rope coming out of the sky or from the ceiling or wherever. Okay, that rope is coming right down here. Each time we, we, we're gonna climb up that rope, we're gonna take a bite up that rope each time we go up there, and it's a nice, slow, deliberate bite you can see my right arm up in the air. Um, depending on what your balance is like, you might not want to come up too high. If you don't have the best balance in the world, okay, just, just take your, your foot ever so slightly off the ground. And if you, in fact, if your balance is not that good at all, you don't need to bring that foot off the ground. What you can do is just come up on your tippy toes like so. So I'll demonstrate both ways. So if you do have good balance, we're gonna have right foot up in the air as we go up 
we'll grab that rope and pull ourselves up like so, and then we'll swap legs. Okay, so nice, slow, deliberate pull, and we're gonna climb up the rope. Okay, so that's if you've got good, uh, good balance. If you don't, watch my right foot. So I'm gonna pull the rope down, and all I'm doing is coming up on my tippy toes like so. So yes, you're transferring most of the weight on that foot that is firmly planted along the ground. However, uh, uh, you're not putting the entire body weight on that other foot, okay? So therefore, you're, you're uh, maintaining a bit of stability and a bit of safety about your stance. Okay, so it'll be like that if you're going to keep that foot on the ground. So rope climbs very slow, very deliberate, very purposeful movement because it's we're if we're coming up on that one foot or even if we're not and we're just coming up on our toes, you are requiring a fair amount of balance and core strength to prevent your body from toppling over. So the slower you do this, the harder it is. And a couple more, and that will do us. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a couple of hip circles now. So feet shoulder width apart, um, hands on hips. We're gonna start off with a few small circles. Once again, like any rotational warm up, each revolution, we're gonna take that circle out a little bit bigger. And let's go the other way. So starting small again and taking that circle a little bit bigger each time. Okay, so we're gonna bring our feet together, almost touching in fact, hands down on our knees. We're gonna do a few knee circles. And the other way, Okay, that will do. Okay, we're warmed up now and we're gonna get into the main part of the exercise. So if you wanted some dumbbells and you had some with you on hand, let's grab them now and I'll demonstrate to you the very first exercise. Okay, so it is a rearward lunge, this exercise. So it could be a little bit challenging. And um, if, you, if you haven't experienced had experience with these exercises before, you might want to just uh, reduce that range. So it is a rear lunge where we're going to step back and come down into a lunge position. Okay, um, if you haven't done them before, I would recommend just coming back, instead of going down into a full lunge, you can just go back, touch the ground behind you with that foot and then straight back. So more of a step back than a lunge. If you've got great lower body strength, you've got great balance, we're going to go back into the full lunge, come up, standing position, and then swap sides to that other leg, okay? So, we're gonna go nice and slow. It's not a race, this exercise. We're really concentrating on doing the exercise with, with perfect technique. And pretty soon, we're gonna be incorporating an upper body exercise and an upper body movement into it. So if you've got your dumbbells in your hand now, that's fine. And what we're gonna do is, I'll slow it down to this. So we're gonna bring our hands together and our elbows together, okay? And each time I step back, I'm gonna bring my elbows out to the side like so. I'm really opening up our chest. And to do that, the muscles that we're using are in between our shoulder blades here. So I'm gonna step back like so. And then as I come back and bring our elbows and hands in to meet each other in front of my face. And then once again, we'll alter alternate with the other leg and then come back to meet each other. So once again, if you're, you're doing the full lunge, if you've got great lower body strength, 
That's fantastic, go for it. Otherwise, we're just doing a little step back, okay? So that's, if you're, you're not going down into the full lunge, and if you are, you're slowing it right down. It's a real controlled and deliberate movement. A very challenging. If you don't have exceptional lower body strength, but if you are just doing a step back at this stage, do that nice and slow and controlled as well. And then hopefully, with a bit of time, a bit of practice, you'll improve and you'll be able to push down a little bit further into a lunge. If you're restricted by pain, mobility, strength, a lot of these type of exercises will improve after time once your muscles and the relationship between your head and your muscles improves. You have better control over your body. Okay, I think that will do. I like shake it out, challenging exercise, that one. Okay, so we're gonna sit down now into a static squat position. Okay, so if you still got your dumbbells in your hand, if you did have dumbbells, that's fine. And sit down into a squat position, okay. Really concentrate on not coming up onto your toes. We're gonna sit down, um, displacing our weight evenly throughout our feet. Okay, sitting down, keeping our back nice and straight. The whole exercise, we're just gonna sit in this position here, like so. We're gonna push our hands and our arms out in front of us. We're gonna bring our hands in to the side of our our trunk here, okay. So drawing back with your elbows. Once again, this is a back exercise as well. So we're drawing by our elbows. We're pretending there's a couple of strings attached to our elbows, bringing those in to the side of our body. And when we do that, we're gonna think about the muscles that we're using, our upper back muscles in between our shoulder blades. And we're gonna give those a, a nice squeeze or a contraction. If you're finding that your legs are becoming pretty fatigued, come up for a second or so and sit back down into the squat. So it's a seated squat, without the seat of course. It's a seated squat with a row or a standing row. Really think about those muscles. I'm sure they're starting to burn a little, the, the upper back muscles. These muscles are we use them every day if, we, if we're doing any pulling type exercise, even if we're opening, opening a heavy door or, or starting a, a lawnmower or, or even carrying shopping bags. And it'll also help with your posture. Okay, let's break that static squat. Have a bit of a shake out. Okay, so another bit of a balancing exercise now. Okay. We're gonna come up on one foot, um, but only if you do have good balance. Like I showed you the rope climbs earlier on, if you didn't have the best lower body, uh, best balance, we can come up on one foot and bring our second foot just up on our toes like so. And if you still got the dumbbells in their hands and you, and you can do this with dumbbells, that's fine. We're just gonna do a full, some small circles like so, and then take them a little bit bigger and if you've got great balance and lower body strength we can take that foot up into the air like so and let's go rearwards and we're going to swap legs now so take time to swap sides you'll find one side is generally better than the other side and that's completely normal that is standard so Forward circles to begin with. And rearwards. Okay. Right, let's have a nice little shake out now. Okay. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come down into a squat position. As we come up from the squat, we're gonna punch up straight into the air. So similar to when we're doing a, a warm up, when we're doing the rotational warm up. However, uh, now if we wanna include weight, we can include weight, but we're also gonna come down into a, a deliberate squat. So we're gonna squat down like so, and as we come up, we're gonna punch up into the sky like so. And then it's an alternating exercise, so once we've done one side, we're gonna come up and do the other side. Three, I'm gonna go all the way to 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work. Let's have a, another shake out. So I uh, hope you're feeling good. We're gonna go through that little circuit again. So if you have a drink of water with you now, now's the time to grab that, have a bit of a rest. We'll go back through that whole routine again in about another 20 seconds. Okay, are we ready? So we're gonna start off now again with the rear lunges with opening our chest up into that W position with our elbows, okay? So if you, if you were doing the full lunge with the first set and your legs are pretty tired now, that's fine. What we can do now is we can just revert to just doing rear steps, okay? You don't need to come down to the full lunge if you think you're gonna, uh, you're stressing yourself too much. If you can't do it, if you're fatigued, that's fine. Don't do them. We're just gonna go back into the step. But if you're still good to go and you, you're uh, still got plenty of energy, we're gonna go back into the full lunge with opening your chest up. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's seven, we're going to 10. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good work. So, we're gonna get down into a static squat position. So, probably gonna be pretty challenging now. We've done a fair bit of lower body work. So, we're gonna sit down into the squat like so. Okay, rolling our shoulders back, keeping that natural curve of your back there, out to the front, bringing our elbows in to the side of our trunk, like so, that rowing position. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good stuff. And you go straight down into the squat, and you come up, punching up nice and high into the sky. So up, down, up, down. Seven, eight, two to go, nine and 10. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so back into our arm circles with a single leg. So whether you're, you're up on your, on your leg or you're uh, up on one foot rather and um, balancing on your second foot or you have that leg completely up in the air, that is up to you. But um, I just want you to do it safely, but also you need to be challenged, okay? Because this is, these are the type of exercises, okay? It's gonna really Im improve your lower body uh, strength and balance, okay? So I'm gonna come up on one foot, then you go forward circles, five each way, four, five, then rearwards, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, it's coming up to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five, and rearwards, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, great work. 
Okay, that's the second set we are gonna go through at a second time. The only thing we're gonna do different about this third set through, we're actually gonna do less repetitions, okay? Might sound easier, and in a way it is, but we're gonna do less repetitions, but each repetition that we do is gonna be quite slow, okay? So, challenging in its own way. Uh, we're not gonna get the heart rate up as much, but given that it's slow, it's, um, we're putting those muscles under duress for a little bit longer with each repetition. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into the rear lunges with the Ws. So back, opening our arms up and coming back to the starting position and swapping it up, other side, like so. And let's go for two more. Good stuff, very challenging. Okay, so straight down into the squat position. Okay, if your legs are becoming a little bit fatigued now and you can't sit down into a full squat, let's just come up and keep your, your legs nice and soft. Okay, so don't lock them out like that, straight. Just sit, you can sit down into, into uh, a, say, a semi squat. Okay, but if you've still got a bit of lower body strength and you're not shaking too much, you can sit down into the squat, punching your arms out in front and doing the row. Okay, it's five, six, nearly there. Seven, eight, two to go, nine, and 10. Okay, let's break that squat, which I'm sure you're pretty happy about. Shake the legs out. Okay, let's, uh, we'll do arm circles now to give our legs a bit of a break. So, okay, here we come up, just up on that single leg. I'm gonna go five, correction, we'll go three. Really, really slow, forward circles. And rearwards, three circles. One, two, and three. Let's swap that up. Three forward, three rear. One, two, three, and three rearwards. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we are down into a squat up into the air with a punch. Okay. Okay, down, keeping your back straight, making sure your knees don't cave in. And as you come up right now, you're gonna go up, punching to the sky. Go one more each side. Done, okay. Well done, challenging workout. Let's have a bit of a shake out and we'll go through a stretch routine and then you're done. Okay, so loosen our shoulders up. We've pretty much, um, there's probably no stone unturned in our body today. I think we've pretty much hit every single muscle that we do have. So, what we'll start off with, we're gonna open up our chest, like so, pushing our chest up to the sky or to the ceiling. Let's bring our breathing back to a steady state. So, nice and controlled, nice and slow. Okay, we're gonna bring our hands together, push our hands out in front, and you'll see how I arch my upper back. 
and start to stretch out a few of those muscles that we've targeted today between our shoulder blades. Okay, we're gonna do a shoulder stretch now. So arm across the front of your body. You know, lock out our elbow like so, just so we place the, the stretch upon our shoulders. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, we can look out over our opposite shoulder and up and over the opposite side. Okay, so we're gonna do a hamstring stretch now. So I'm gonna bring my right foot out in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna raise our toe up towards the sky. And if you want a little bit extra of a stretch, I'm gonna put our hands down on our knee just to push that out to really feel that stretch in the back of your leg and your hamstring there. And swapping that up. And again. Don't forget to breathe. It's one thing that we do tend to forget about when we when we're stretching, we're concentrating on the stretch so much and especially if it is a little bit uncomfortable, we can, we tend to stop breathing for a period of time, which isn't good, okay? We're gonna do a quick hip flexor stretch now. So uh, squaring off our hips and let's keep it, those hips nice and square. We're gonna drop one leg back like so. The muscles we're gonna target now are right in here, okay? so muscles that are chronically tight in a lot of people purely because we do a lot of sitting throughout the day but also with a lot of exercise that we do so we're just going to sit into that ever so slightly we don't want our hips twisting around to the side we're going to keep our hips facing square like so and if you would like a bit of an extra stretch you, if you squeeze your butt cheeks together or clench your butt cheeks, it helps to create more of a stretch here in the front of your body. And really, if you can, dig that heel into the ground just to really elongate that leg and you'll feel that opening up at the front of your hip there. Okay, let's swap that up, other side. Okay, once again, if you can push that hip down, oh, correction, the heel down towards the ground, and also keeping those hips square, clenching your butt cheeks together, a lot of things to think about, but it is a challenging stretch. But if you do get it in that sweet position, it's fantastic, it feels great, and it is very good for you. Helps with the mobility of your hips, and also uh, yeah, to move the right way. Okay. That will do us. Let's have a shake out. I hope you've enjoyed this session today. Thank you.